Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, how about you go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. That's always uh, something I super appreciate. So uh, this video, just thought I'd go ahead and uh, highlight the uh, Oracle uh, wheel LED rings a little bit more. My previous video, you saw that we went ahead and got those installed as well as the Apollo series rock lights from uh, Black Label Lighting. But for this one, we're just gonna hi highlight the actual uh, wheel rings itself. Um, this isn't gonna be, you know, TRX specific. You can install these on, you know, any kind of truck or, you know, any type of 1500. Uh, this is gonna be more or less like the same, um, you know, deal as far as installing goes. The only thing that might be different is on your truck, you might actually be using the switch that's provided to you by Oracle. On the TRX, we went ahead and installed them to the auxiliary panel, but thought I'd go ahead just give you guys a quick overview of it because you know they're pretty cool and you don't really see too many uh 1500s or any rams on uh youtube that uh have them installed so figured i'd uh go ahead and do that for you guys so it's not really uh too dark out here right now it's about five o'clock so i can go ahead and uh show you guys uh with them turned off so kind of hard to see but like right up there like right above the um cal the caliber or not the caliber the rotor you can see that they're installed. Now, these are um, an 18 inch, you know, method. So these are more like an off-road focus wheel. If you were, you know, running 20s or more of like a show truck kind of wheel, you would definitely see the actual LED ring itself a little bit more. On this, it's kind of hidden and that's kind of what I was going for. I wasn't really looking for something projecting through the wheel all too much. I kind of wanted it more to kind of just fill in this area right up here since I didn't install any rock lights in the front or in the rear. So I figured, you know, using the LED we uh, real, <laughs> sorry, it's kind of a tongue tie, uh, the wheel rings that would kind of project this area right over here. So if you come back down underneath here, you can see right there, there is the actual LED ring itself. Now on the 1500 and well on the TRX anyway, um, the rotors, they're kind of freaking huge. So, what we went ahead and did was we actually cut the ring itself to uh, fit the actual wheel. So you could go ahead and buy like these two um, rings in two separate sizes. This is actually the larger of the sizes and it still didn't fit. So what we did was we cut it right here and right up there as well. So it's covering the entire rotor, like the dust cap, but it's not going over the caliper. So it still works. It's perfectly fine. Um, you know, to me, it's really not that big of a deal because again, I wasn't really looking for something to project outwards. I really wanted it to project inwards, just kind of bouncing off of there and fill in a little bit of light area. But that's kind of what you're gonna have to do on your uh, 1500 because I don't think the brakes are any bigger on the TRX than they are on any of the other 1500s. So if you're looking to install these on your Ram 1500, on like your Lorame, your Bighorn, your Rebel, your Sport, your TRX, you're probably gonna have to uh, do some sort of modification to get them to fit. Now, really sorry if it's a little dark, I'll go ahead and grab a light so I can uh, show you guys a little bit better. But you know, there's probably other ways you could go ahead and uh, get this done, but I thought this would be, you know, the easiest way of getting it done. Um, I didn't do the install. I was just kind of there supervising, but we were thinking about it and this was, you know, the easiest solution that we could come up with. But let me go ahead and grab a light so you can uh, see this a little bit better. All right, that's a little bit better. So there you can kind of see what I'm talking about. The ring itself is installed on the back of the dust cap and then we cut the ring right there and right up there just to basically avoid going over the caliper itself. Now again, like I said, these come in two separate sizes, a, um, I think a 13 inch ring and then a 15 and a half inch ring. This, this is the 15 and a half inch ring and it did not fit. So if you're looking to install these on your 1500, this might be uh, the way of doing it. So just thought I'd share that with you guys. All right, so showed you how they were installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn them on real quick so you can see what they look like in uh, this type of lighting. And then when it gets a little bit darker outside, I'll go ahead and 
show you what they're like outside. But again, in the TRX, you get the auxiliary switches that are over here. So that's how I wired mine. But if, uh, so, oops, sorry, that's the wrong one. But if you don't have the auxiliary switches, you could just go ahead and install the regular switch that comes with the Oracle kit. So here you go. You can see it's what they look like during the day. So you can see behind it back here, you see how it's kind of like reflecting a little bit. That's what I was going for more so than just, you know, shining through the light because again, it's kind of hidden and that's exactly what I was going for. I wasn't really looking for a big ring to shine through the wheels. I was just looking more for like a reflection. So that's what they kind of look like up front. And then you can kind of see right there. Again, up here. And then shining back here. You can go ahead and see that. And then in the back. So again, that's what I was looking for. There's no rock lights installed up here. So I was looking more so for that backward shine to just project a little bit since there's no rock lights installed over here. So let's go ahead and uh, fast forward to nighttime and I'll show you what that looks like. And here we are at nighttime with just the ring lights on. So you can see my whole thought process here, the lights projecting inwards, not so much projecting outwards. Sorry if you can't really hear me with the engine turned on there, but there you can see it from the front. It's still projecting back and helps light up the uh, wheel, the, re, uh, the fender wells up there. And then just go ahead and give you guys a quick view of everything. Over here it's a little bit darker so you can see it so yeah you know again if you were to have like you know more of like a, a showy wheel you know that lights gonna you know project out a little bit more but it kind of hides it a little bit with the method so yeah that was my whole uh, thought process process with these more so just to project here since we didn't install rock lights over there and I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys the rear I did paint those recently, so gold, because I can't afford Kibbe Tech arms. But yeah, looks pretty sweet, right? So that's gonna do it, guys. Quick video, just kinda wanted to highlight that. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time, later.